And sticking with health news, making an accurate diagnosis in the early stages of Parkinson's disease can be difficult as the signs and symptoms may be considered indications of other conditions or the effects of normal aging. Here to expand on this topic is Dr. Coleman of Spectrum Health Medical Group. Good morning. Thank you for Hi. being here. Good morning. Thanks Hi. for having me. Absolutely. Let's back up a little bit. We, we hear so much about Parkinson's disease. Can you just kind of pinpoint exactly what's going on with someone in, in, their, in their mind and body? Sure. So Parkinson's is a very slowly progressive brain condition um, that affects about 1% of those over the age of 60, but can really occur at any age. Mm -hmm. And Parkinson's occurs because of a loss of brain cells deep in the brain that contain a chemical called dopamine. Okay. And dopamine helps us with our normal voluntary movements. Mm -hmm. And when a certain amount of dopamine is lost, the typical symptoms in Parkinson's arise. And those include things such as tremor, stiffness and slowness mm -hmm. and usually these symptoms begin on one side of the body. Okay and as we mentioned it's kind of challenging because you don't know if it's just an aging thing. You don't want to scare someone right away and give them that diagnosis. You guys really have to dive into into this to, to scope everything out. That's right. So the diagnosis of Parkinson's um, is purely clinical and what that means is that one of the most important features of, of getting the correct diagnosis is consulting with a neurologist who has experience in Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. So there are no labs, there is no imaging study that gives us a black and white answer as to whether or not someone has Parkinson's. The diagnosis is based on the presence or absence of certain symptoms as well as uh, findings on neurologic examination. Sure. And this isn't something as simple as here, just take this medication and we'll try to make you all better. What, what actually goes into trying to treat this even down to surgery? Well, while there is no cure for Parkinson's, um, we, the good news is, is that we do have a lot of treatments that improve symptoms and thereby improve quality of life. Mm -hmm. And um, this is uh, best uh, done with a team approach um, of a multidisciplinary team of experts. Mm -hmm. And this can include anything from exercise, physical, speech, occupational therapy, medications, and even in some people, surgical-based therapies. And what's the overall goal with the surgery? It, can you completely correct something? As you said, there's no cure at this point. So I guess, is it to get them comfortable, to be um, someone who actually can be back out in the community again and participating in life? So that, what is your overall goal of surgery? That's a great question. So the most common surgical therapy that we use for Parkinson's is called deep brain stimulation or DBS. Okay. And the goal of that therapy is to improve quality of life. Um, deep brain stimulation or DBS can improve the uh, cardinal motor symptoms of Parkinson's, so tremor, stiffness, and slowness, but it can also improve some of the complications that arise from medication, mm -hmm. such as medication wearing off and dyskinesia. Mm -hmm. Medication wearing off occurs when the typical medications that we use no longer last dose to dose. So instead of taking it three times a day, they find they're taking it four, five, or six times a day. Okay. Well, once again, you mentioned the statistic about it being over the age of 60, but we know that there are actually some younger cases out there, which has got to be baffling sometimes to, to you, you guys in the medical field who are trying to conquer this. So um, best of luck in your endeavor in doing that. And thank, thank you, you so much for the staff at Spectrum Health Medical Group. Thank you for having us today. Absolutely. And once again, Spectrum Health Medical Group Neurology is located at 2750 East Beltline Avenue, Northeast in Grand Rapids. Go ahead and just give them a call at 616-267-7104. Visit them online at shmg.org slash neuro. <clears throat>